Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Sydney. I film beauty videos at least three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my singles collection with you guys. This was requested by one of my wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so much for requesting this. I love it when you request things because I have tons and tons of ideas for videos and for content that I can create but none of it really matters if you guys don't want to watch it. So keep requesting, never be afraid to request a video. I will more than likely do it. Um, but anyways, today I wanted to share my singles collection with you guys. Um, and I want to talk about my singles collection a little bit because I went from having absolutely no singles like last summer to having like three or four Z palettes worth of singles now. So my singles collection grew very, very rapidly. Um, I started small. I think I bought like three singles from ColourPop one time when I placed an order and then actually a wonderful friend on Instagram was getting rid of some of her singles. She's like, oh, if you just pay shipping, I'll give you these singles. And I'm like, uh, yeah, bonus. So I just sprayed them down with alcohol and they were good as new. So quite a few singles um, in my collection are from that. And then I have also depotted a couple of palettes, which I'll kind of talk about as I go through each palette. Um, but yeah, I really love single shadows in theory in practice I have a harder time reaching for them than I do like reaching for a palette so yeah I have a singles shake-up series on my channel where I kind of curate little palettes of my single shadows um, and then I kind of use it for a month do a little tutorial with it give you guys some feedback on it and show you swatches of it in that video so I'll link those videos down below if those sound like something you guys would be interested in watching I am thoroughly enjoying that series so I hope you guys are too I'm almost done with my current palette, so make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned um, for the next installment in that series. But without further ado, let's hop into my singles collection. Alright guys, so here are all of my singles palettes. Most of the palettes that I have um, are from ColourPop. These four are, but these two are from Shop Miss A. If you guys don't know what Shop Miss A is, it's a like dollar makeup website I did. I think I did two videos on them. I did like a haul video and then I did like a haul recap. I'll link those down below if you guys are interested. But they make really, really great um, magnetic palettes. They're pretty sturdy. Um, they have a great magnetic closure and they have a mirror inside, which is a major bonus because these ColourPop palettes do not. Um, but those are what these two palettes are. So I guess we should just hop right in to the palette. So I guess we'll just start with ColourPop. No, let's start with these ones. So this one is like this little teeny tiny palette that I got from Shop Miss A. It came with some shadows that I really did not enjoy. Um, but I did keep this palette because it's a magnetic palette. Like I wasn't going to throw that away. Um, but this just has some random singles in it, honestly. This one, I think, is from my Winky Lux Kitten palette. I did depot a couple of palettes, and those are kind of strewn throughout here. Um, and there are, like I said in my intro video, some singles that I inherited from a friend on Instagram, and some of those don't have names, so I have absolutely no idea where they came from. These two are mystery singles. This one is from Luxie. I think it's called Raisin Hell. Um, this one is from, I believe it's from ColourPop's All I See is Magic palette, and then this one is from their Chasing Rainbows palette. Next, I'm going to touch very, very briefly on my single shake-up palette right now because I did do a more in-depth video on this palette, um, which I will also link below if you guys are interested in that. This is what the palette looks like for this round. If you guys don't know about that series, wait, I think I explained it in the intro, but um, I just kind of curate a little singles palette, use it for a month, kind of do a little tutorial with it, and then give you guys my thoughts on the color story and the shadows and all that jazz um, in the next video. But here's my palette for this month. Like I said, I'm not really going to go into this palette really a whole lot because I already did a video really kind of in-depthly explaining all of this, but there's a mixture of a lot of ColourPop shadows in here. I think this is primarily ColourPop. Um, the little ones are mostly from the Chasing Rainbows palette that I depotted. This is a highlighter from Sydney Grace, um, and then I think this shadow right here is from Luxie Beauty. It's called Doll or something like that. Living Doll. Doll face, doll face. Um, and then this little itty baby one is from Urban Decay. I think that's Fireball. But yeah, the rest of those are ColourPop. I own a lot of ColourPop singles. Although I've never done a BYOP, which is kind of crazy because I'm not like singles obsessed, but I bought a lot of singles in the past year. So I don't really know why I didn't just spring for a BYOP. So now let's hop into these next ColourPop palettes. This one is well at one point it was my huda beauty new new dupe you guys there was a point in time where i was obsessed with that palette like i could not stop thinking about it i almost bought it like four times 
but that is an expensive palette and for tones that I was not entirely sure I was going to use a whole lot so I bought a lot of ColourPop singles that I thought would kind of fit that color story um, and I popped them in this palette with a couple of other singles that I already had. As you can see, this palette is not completely full. It was full at one point, but as I kind of created my singles palette, I did grab a lot of shadows from here, and just things got rearranged over, over time. Um, but these are all ColourPop singles. That's a depotted ColourPop shadow. That's a mystery shadow. Mystery shadow, mystery shadow. Um, I think this one's a ColourPop single as well. And then these two are from Sydney Grace. This is their blush or not blush i'm sorry highlighter in the shade pink waterfall and that's their blush in hopeless romantic i think love story not hopeless romantic but yeah i as you guys can tell i really enjoy color pops single shadow formula so next let's dip into this palette um this one is once again from color pop this one doesn't have a ton of shadows in it um, these are shadows from Eclectic Beauty, I think it's called, or Eclectic Cosmetics. I won a giveaway from them a couple of months ago, and they sent me a couple singles, just a little sampling of their range, as well as a lipstick and two pigments. And I do plan on doing a review um, kind of on the brand, because this is kind of the extent of the range of their products, what they sent me. So yeah, I need to test these out a little bit further. I was using them for a little bit. Um, and then, I don't know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there were a couple shades that I was just really, really not impressed with. They kind of left a bad taste in my mouth, so I haven't reached for these a ton, a ton. But this is just kind of an empty palette that I have space to grow in, um, or I can rearrange for one of my single shake-up videos. Alright, so we're down to two more ColourPop palettes. So these ones are kind of arranged by color family-ish. Um, this one right here is kind of full of warm tones and more neutral shades. Well, I guess warm tone neutrals. A lot of these are, um, depotted shadows. These two up here are from my Winky Looks Kitten palette. This one's from a ColourPop palette that I depotted it from. This one is Sydney Grace, I believe. That one's Luxie. That one's also Sydney Grace. ColourPop right there. Mystery Shadow, ColourPop, Sydney Grace. I think this one's ABH right here. ColourPop, Sydney Grace, Mystery Shadow, ColourPop. So there's quite an array in here. I told, like I said in the beginning, all the little baby ones are from ColourPop. Their palettes are super duper easy to depot. So if you guys are ever looking to kind of expand your singles collection or just kind of fill in like those key shades that you would need to create like a really like strong palette, um, buying a ColourPop palette when it's on sale is not a bad way to do that. So yeah, this is my warm tone palette. I try to keep this semi-organized so when I'm creating like one of these single shake-up palettes, I have somewhere that I can go where I know, oh yeah, those are going to be my key neutrals, those warm tones that I really love to include, anything like that. But sometimes it doesn't always fit and things get shifted around, like they get shoved in this palette or they get shoved in this little tiny palette, which obviously has like no rhyme or reason to how it's organized. Um, yeah, so then in this palette, can you guys guess what I keep in here? my cool tone shades um yeah just cool tone slash colorful shades I feel like I don't have any well I have some but not very many cool toned neutral shades because those just really are not my jam I much prefer cool toned colorful shades um this one I believe is from Sydney Grace or Luxy nope this one is Luxy it's the queen of mean that's a beautiful shadow this one's from Sydney Grace this one might be ABH these two shadows are super similar and I probably need to get rid of one but one of them is ABH and one of them is Sydney Grace I think yeah that one's ABH so the other one must be Sydney Grace and then this shade is from the Winky Lux palette that is a Luxy shadow I think it's called Halo Colourpop um Luxy mystery shadow looksy um from the winky Lux palette color pop again color pop color pop looksy looksy color pop color pop color pop as you can see this is a very color pop friendly single shadow collection so yeah i hope you guys have found this video a little bit interesting um, I wasn't gonna swatch every single shadow because I would be here for literally like a hundred years and I do showcase a lot of my single shadows in my single shakeup stash so if you guys are ever looking to learn more about a shade um, or just kind of how to put shadows together how I put shadows together definitely check out that series so here's the final overview of all my singles
So that's gonna wrap up all the singles I have in my collection. I hope you guys found it helpful to kind of see all my palettes, see how they're kind of organized. Like I said in the beginning, I do go a little bit more in depth into each shade um, in my single shakeup series, so you guys are welcome to check out those videos down below if you want a little bit of a closer look at some of the shades, um, but that's going to wrap it up for me today. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Thank you for requesting this video idea, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!